Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. Do you recognise where I am today? If you don't, that is okay. Basically, if you've ever been to Disneyland Paris, you'll remember going on Phantom Manor and going down this huge walkway just here, kind of like the queue, uh, around the corner just here, and then you actually basically get onto the ride. It's so, so cool. So, in this first part, I will finally be teaching you guys how to build Phantom Manor's ride. I know it doesn't look like much at the moment. <laughs> that is because I'm going to be teaching you guys this in sections. Now hopefully by the time this video has come out, uh, there should already be the entire rest of the, uh, the you know, the ride here. Um, and I would have sort of said, you know, what we're going to be doing throughout the many episodes. Um, but uh, at the moment, <laughs> it is just this very, very small looking shell. So this is going to be number part, number part one? Uh, part number one even. Um, because I would like to build this modular so we can go ahead and build each section for a new part. Uh, however, we are going to be going ahead and building the entire ride layout today because there is a map online. Thankfully, one of the uh, Imagineers, I think they're called, um, posted a map of Phantom Manor's ride on uh, the internet. So it's really, really helpful for me as a builder to be able to use that as well and to bring you finally this tutorial. So the idea of this one is to be able to get this entire queue area done. Um, we'll be also getting the ride layout done. I'm not sure if we'll get this done in part one. We might even start with this and then, you know, continue this in part two. Who knows? But we are at a stage at the moment where we can start filming this. And it would be good to get it start started because, uh, you know, with Halloween being so close, so around the corner uh, at the time of this video being filmed, then uh, it's kind of just, you know, we kind of have to make this. It's kind of just the law. So um, let's go ahead and grab some materials. I'll shut up and stop talking and uh, we'll get adding this to the underside of our Phantom Manors. Woo! So taking ourselves quite a big distance away from my original one. My original one is somewhere around here. We're going to take ourselves some chiseled nether bricks, some nether brick slabs and some red wool. Now it's up to you guys if you want to use slabs or carpet because we're going to make like a slope with these slabs uh, for the track. So if you wanted to use carpet instead, I know it's a little bit skinnier, well, quite a lot skinnier than the slabs, um, but it, the colour's a little bit more unique, then um, feel free to use it. It's up to you guys. So, oh, there's my other one. Okay, so I need to go a little bit further this way, just to make sure I've got enough space. All right, so I'm going to take my chiseled nether bricks, because this is going to be for the track. So let's go into the floor just here. Cut into here for one, and this one's also going to be number one. Now we need to go ahead and build 42 blocks in the floor here, with our chiseled nether bricks. So number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So if you now want to count this again using this trail just here, this kind of ditch, run this all the way along, counting making sure you've got 42 in the floor here. And then once you have, fill it in with your chiseled nether bricks. So if you need to pause the video just to count that, feel free to do so. I'm gonna double check mine before we carry on anyways, just to be on the safe side, because I'm good at making number mistakes. <laughs> okay, there we go, I'll be right back. Now we're gonna go up to our left side, and we're gonna count on the first, uh, 43rd block, so here, up for three, because we're starting to build a corner. Then we're gonna go ahead and build a corner again, and up for three. So I'm knocking off this corner, go up for three. Place a slab on this block just here. Then we want to build a corner, just like so. And we're going to add one there and one there, almost like an addition sign, just there. Then we place a block in this gap with a slab on top. Then we're going to build a double stacked addition sign, like this, so surrounding the slab. Then we're going to build ourselves a cluster of four, just in here like so, so stacked up to, you know, too high. Then we'll build one back here, stacked up for two. Then we'll build ourselves one, two, three, and four blocks here, and three here, all stacked up for two layers, like so. If you want to pause the video, like I said, please feel free to do so any point in this tutorial. It is a little bit hard to get used to, and there's a lot of different corners we need to make sure are very accurate, so just make sure you need to pause if you do. So we have this strange shape at the moment. We now want to go to here, and build one, two, three along like so, stacked up for two. Then we'll come to this one, so we're going in again, and we're going to build this along for two, to match up to that one just there. 
we're going to go past this for three, one, two, three, and then another two on the end to kind of mark out where we're going to turn again back in. So that in total is about uh, seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Down here, build five, one, two, three, four, five, and stack up all of these to two layers high. Go back up here, and then we're going to build ourselves one, two, three, along just like so. Again, double stacking as we go. Then you want to build another three and double stack again. And that sort of concludes that little corner down here. So as you can see, we've sort of matched up to where we are before, just one block behind it. Looking good so far. So we have, we're going to call these rivets. So if you hear me start, uh, hit, <laughs> start that again. If you hear me say rivets, I mean the corners of the blocks. So here we have one, two, three, and four rivets just here. Even though this is on a long straight, we're going to count this as number one rivet. Okay, sweet. So here we don't actually turn anymore using this side. On this side though, we go ahead and make this a little bit longer. So we're going to add in one, two up here and build. Build them both up. This one behind though, we're going to build that a little bit higher, like so. That's now worth four in length and that is worth four as well. Then we'll build ourselves one, two, and three just here to match it. Uh, oh, sorry, we're going to cut that one off and build the three up here. So it goes out again. So like so. Now on this one, there are 10 rivets on this side. And this is going to be number one. So this is our new number one. So just making sure our track is the exact same uh, layout as you know it should be. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. So I'm going to count my one, two, three. And on four is where we go for up for two. Then we start a new rivet section. So one, two, three, like so. Build that up to match. Going to start counting on this side. One, two, three three and I want to build ten of these so I've got three four five six seven eight nine ten like so it is that simple once you have one side down you can go back in and build your next side so this top one will come down for three blocks in total so it's worth three and then all of these after again three like so until you get to this one and then you have to sort of um, well I'm gonna cut that off because we've already got three so that's actually really useful and here probably again the same because we're trying to make these rivets let me just double check on my old picture so we've got number one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so ten rivets on the side as well and this one starts again after on this one so one two three four and i'm going to knock off those two five knock off that one six knock off that one seven eight nine and ten so it will match up to that one that's fine just want to double check my work when I can just to be on the safe side I don't want to mess up anything okay phew looking good so if you would like to pause the video like I said feel free guys that um, pause symbol is going to be coming out a lot this episode <laughs> that's a lot of editing okay so let's go up to this section up here on this middle one that we have we want to go up for another four. One, two, three, four. build these up for two behind add in three so this is going to be worth four in length up here, add in two, like so, and this actually starts our next sort of corner, so our next riveted section. So that's number one just there. We'll do two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks, up like so. On number seven, you can go up for two more. Double stack all of these, like, uh, like that. Down here, go ahead and build third rivet, one, two, and three, as you can see. Fourth, 5th, 6th, 7th, just here, like so. And then we go ahead and, you know, we go back into that section up here. On this second row here, you're going to build this one so it matches up just past the 3, but and then 2 more, like so. Then we can go ahead and fill in these gaps. Make sure there's no holes in the track, that would be very bad. We'll leave a gap here, and then we'll build 1, 2, 3 past it, like so. Then we'll go here and we'll build one, two, three out and build it up. Back here, we'll build four along. One, two, three, and four, like so. Then we start to build a circle. Now the circle is actually really simple. It doesn't look like it would be, but we're gonna use our red wall for this. And this is where the, um, oh, I've completely forgotten her name. Uh, the Madame is kind of in that, uh, she's like a, you know, a glass sort of head. <laughs> um, she's in this sort of area up here my dad will be able to tell you more about that I'm, I'm terrible with remembering stuff from this ride he's kind of like an expert so um 
yeah, I can't remember her name, but she kind of sits in here and she watches you as you go by and kind of tells you what you should be wary of and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Fortune teller, I guess. So we're going to go here and build one, two, three, like so. This is where it would turn again, as you can imagine. Then we'll go up for two, and we'll do that on both sides. Then we'll go up for two again, on both sides. Now make sure your uh, circle is nice and symmetrical. That is what we're going for. Then we'll go up straight vertically for two, and then two again. So diagonally away. Two, and two. Then we want to go ahead and build three. One, two, three. Then two. So over here. One, two, three, and then two. Then we'll go ahead and build two again, and two again up here. Then we go back in for two, two, uh, two, and two, and then three at the top, like so. Then if you fly up, you'll be able to see a big circle up here, looking awesome. And all we need to do next is taking our chiseled nether bricks, is building our track around it. So in here, fill in your two, and then we're just going to stick close to it. So we're going to build clusters of four for the twos, like so. Over here, we'll end up adding on ourselves another two. So it's like a cluster of four again in a little gap. Here, it gets a little bit awkward because you have to come out another block here. Then we go up for filling in that space. Fill in these two. Go to this one just here and build right the way up. So it goes up to in line with the end. Oh, sorry. Uh, the end or the start? The start of the second lot of two. So here. You fill that in. Like so. Then we'll go to this one just here and go along over here and build one, two, three, four, five. So it goes to that start one. Fill that in. So it goes two, as you can imagine, around it. Then we'll go to here and we'll build two blocks up from what we have previously. Instead of just the one. Then we'll do one here. Like so. Then we'll go ahead and build another one. And then three. Then we'll go ahead and build another two lots of three, stacked up for two, of course. Then we'll go ahead and build another three, another three just here. We'll do a three, but horizontally, stacked up for two, of course, as well, just along there. And then we'll drop back down. So we'll do three down, three down, stacked up for two, three down again, and this one will go for. Well, here we actually start to turn it in a bit, so we can go for two just there. Then we'll go for another three, just here. So I really did weird, like did a weird thing on this side. I think it's because when we get to the sort of uh, crescent, I guess, of the circle, as you can imagine, we don't go like round and then just kind of curve it around again. That's the idea, um, but it doesn't actually touch this one. So we need to make sure it kind of has the illusion that it's going round the circle, uh, and then it's just going to veer off like straight, sort of suddenly. Um, so it's a little bit strange, but um, once we get it in there, it'll be all good. So down here, on the second um, two before the three on the corner here, on the right side, we'll go up for about five blocks again. One, two, three, four, five, like so. Um, I just want to double check this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll knock that one off. So we only go up for four next to the two, and then five next to the three. That's why I was getting myself confused. There we go. Looks much, much better. Then we'll drop down on the 5 here, and we'll start on this one. That was a voice break. <laughs> we'll start on this one. So that is the second 2 here on this right side. Just there. And we're going to end it on the second 2 on the bottom right side. So here. Cool. Then we'll build on our 5 again, remember? So we'll go for 2 up on this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then leave 2. Fill in all of this shape. Oops. There we go. Then down here, we want to build ourselves quite a lot this time. We're going to go for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like so, because this is where we're going to turn back out. Then here we'll do another 5 just in this gap. So that actually goes just before the end of the 8. Two, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like so. Then over here. We'll build on ourselves next to the five, the other side, just one, like so. In here, place in two with a slab on top. Is where we're going to start to angle back up again for the part that goes around here. Wow, guys, we're making really good progress so far. Looking good. So, it's time to bring back out the plus signs, but we're going to do this for three layers now. Three layers is our new kind of normal. So, one, 
oops, <laughs> slabs, one, two, three, then we'll build that plus, but up for three layers, just so that you can see the incline from the slab there. Cool. Then we'll drop down underneath the plus here for two, like so. And now here, starting on this one just here, not this one, this one next to it, we're going to go along for 29 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Whew, few. And then this side as well. Remember, going up for three blocks in height. So this is like the only sort of bit dull section <laughs> is filling in like three or four layers of the same block over and over. Um, and I know that's Minecraft for you, but you know when you're trying to build like a ride, which is awesome, it's always a little bit like, oh, do we have to? But yeah, it's all good. Once we get it done, it's done. Then we'll go from the 29, so past it here, going up for three, and fill that in for three. Then we'll go up for two, like so, and then one just here. And as you can see, that's now a new corner. So then we start on this one, just next to it, and we're going to go up for 18 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. For two layers. Two rows, sorry. Up for three layers. Go a little bit zooming. There we go. Oh, and here as well. Like so. Awesome. So at the top here, this gets a little bit weird. We need to go ahead and use ourselves kind of the 18 um, that we've got here. Now, I recommend going to count this before you ca you continue. So don't count on this third one just here, on this three blocks. Start number one as here, and make sure you've got 18 going up to there. I'll be right back. I'm going to make sure mine's the same. Everything seems to be in order so far. So next, we'll go ahead and build one, two, three this way. We'll build three again. Then we'll build ourselves about six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up here, build four. And then we go back down. But we're not going to go back down just yet. We need to go ahead and double this up for three. So just fill this all up to three blocks high. Oh, not quite just there. There we go. Awesome. On the side, you want to make sure you've got four rivets. One, two, three, and four. Epic. Over here, we're going to make sure we have 14 rivets. So we've got number one just here. Two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Then we can fill this all up for 3 blocks high. I'm not sure what's happening to my voice. I'm sounding like Batman a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then down here, we're going to kind of do a similar thing, but we need to go out from um, this block down here. This is our 14th rivet, remember. So you can bring this one down another 2, like so. And then we'll just go back up doing a diagonal shape just here. It's always helpful when you have the outside layer, if that makes sense, because then you can just build the inside layer so much quicker and easier. So there we go, we have two blocks between them. And all of these are gonna go up for three layers in height, which you guys know how to do now, which is awesome. So if you wanna build all these up to 13, sorry, three layers, then we'll get back to it. There we go, awesome, that didn't take as long as I thought. Cool. Okay, so we have three down here. We're going to go along for three just here. And this one's going to go along for four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Then we can build these up. And we have already rivet number one down here. So let's start this section. Oh, we're going to start it up this way. That'll be easier. So we're going to go for about six rivets. And then we're going to drop down uh, back to two layers in height. So not three, two. So we'll start number one just here. Then we'll go for two, three, four, five, and six, just here. Now on six, it gets a little bit strange. We need to go in diagonally just here. And I'm going to build... Well, I actually want to go and double check this just really quickly, because I don't know if there's a slab or not. I can't tell from my picture. I'll be right back, guys. So no, we actually just go straight for a block. I'm pretty sure that's to add to the steepness effect of when you're sat on the ride and you actually go down to the graveyard. Um... I could be mistaken about that, but I'm pretty sure that's why I did that. So we're going to go ahead and build uh, on six. We're going to go out just here and build another six, so along. Then we'll drop back down so it looks like an arrow. And then we'll go back along this way. 
building all of these up to three layers in height. Filling in all the gaps as well. No holes, remember. Awesome. Now then, past that, we're going to go down the dip and go for 19 rivets along on the outside. So this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, then on the 19th one up here, you want to go ahead and shorten this down for two more and then go back along doing the diagonal ones like so. Epic. And then we're going to build all of these up to two layers in height. So quite simple, but again, it's just a little bit dull whilst you're trying to do this. Ugh, not what you want, but there we go. It's not. It's actually kind of therapeutic to be honest. I don't mind like placing blocks like this. It's when I'm trying to fill in a massive area of just like sand or something, you know, super boring. But um, <laughs> but this is not too bad. There we go. That's looking great. Now then, up here, past the 19. So this is number 19 from the dip. We're going to go ahead and place ourselves two blocks, two like so, stacked up two. Then drop back down to three, just here. Once again, this is a new related section. So that's number one just there. We're going to go for 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 blocks, like so. Awesome. Then we'll go ahead and build number 13 down for another three, like so. Now we'll go back up to number 13, and we'll build along for two. And then we can build our diagonal pan in here, like so. Building all of these up to two blocks in height now. Now this honestly looks more confusing than it actually is, so if anyone has any questions please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments below. I left my coordinates on for this one as well, just so you can see that the elevation changes slightly uh, for certain blocks. So if I'm, I don't think it works for like the actual looking, I think it's just me as a person. Yeah, <laughs> oh dang, okay I was thinking that maybe it would, it would work for the blocks but that's just my silly imagination. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to go to this one just here. I'm going to build this one down for three and four, so it comes out from the, this one over here. Build that like so. And this only goes out for two rivets. Then this one comes out and along for about five blocks in total. So number one's here, two, three, four, five. Fill that up for two. Then we'll go ahead and add in ourselves. Um, let's just think about this really quickly. Get my wheel assassin brain going. So we've got that one just there, looking good. Yep, so here, we're gonna go ahead and build this one along, so it goes out for another three. One, two, three, and build it up. And then here, we'll build in one, like so. Yeah, that's looking good. Whew, okay, I thought I messed up for a sec. Whew, okay. So now we'll go ahead and come to this one down here, and we'll build it up uh, out for about four more blocks, so that is worth five. So one, two, three, four, five, like so. Then here we'll do the same, so we're going to add in ourselves four. Uh, sorry, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so we can make that into a five block shape. Let me zoom up so you can see what I've done just here. Sweet. Now we're going to add in ten rivets, and we're going to use this one just here as number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like so. You should have a, var a rather large space between the two spaces up here. If you don't, don't worry too much. Worst case scenario, you can shrink down some of the scenery on the inside of this place um, and then just the track will need to be sorted a little bit, but honestly it's not too much of a worry. Okay, so on 10 down here, you want to build up for 2. And then we'll backtrack and build diagonally like so. Fill in these little gaps now, up to 2 blocks in height. Like this. And we do it for all the way, all, <laughs> can't speak, all of these blocks like so. Now we'll go ahead and come down here, and in the middle of this three, you want to go out to the left for three. Then here we'll build out to the left for four. Fill these in so they go to two layers. Okay, next picture. So we're going to drop down and we use this one as number first, number first, number one rivet. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So just six rivets on this one. On the sixth one, build it down for another three to make it into a four block shape. Then we use this one as number one, and we go for one, two, three, so we have four rivets. One, two, three, and four, like so. 
fill these in. Over this way, we need to go backtracking a little bit and go up to this one just here. We're going to build this one down just for one, and then we'll go out our, diag our diagonal just here. As we reach this one, you can build this one down like so. And then we're going to go down to this block, and we're going to go ahead and build one, two along. And then we'll backtrack for three. Build all of these up for two. Like so. Basically, we want a track that is worth two blocks in width every single time it goes around a corner. So up here, we have two blocks on a corner and two blocks on the corner. So you just need to get the sort of diagonal dimensions as you would on a normal one. So two blocks long, one and two. Sweet. Look at this, we're almost there. Hey, <laughs> we can see the end. So good. Okay, nice one. Now on to a little bit of a grind. <laughs> we need to go ahead and build 48 blocks going down this way. So that's not number one. This is number one just here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Whew. Okay, and then I'm going to do the second one, and then I'm going to quickly go and count this. I recommend you guys do the same just to make sure we're all on the same page. But I'm pretty sure you're looking good. 48. And then we'll go back along to double stack this for two layers, of course. Because we're not quite at the end yet. I've been around the entire track because when you go to Disneyland Paris, you go in to the exit uh, to get to the disabled entrance. So um, with myself being on crutches, um, you have to go in the, the sort of flatter exit to, to get on the ride. And... Um, when when you do so like when you actually hop on the ride it kind of goes around like almost like a swirl in a cave uh, which we'll be building in a, in a second and then it goes down a hill to get back to where everyone usually enters the ride so it's actually really really cool and it's quite a clever section so we want to implicate that into our minecraft builds all right implement it even <laughs> implement okay so let's go and check if this is 48 blocks in length remember the one that correlates to three blocks in height up here in width or it, sorry, is not the one we start on. It's this one just here. And then 48 down. Well then, mine was actually 48, so that is lucky. Phew, okay, all good. Now we're going to go ahead and come down here, and we're going to build 1, 2, 3, along like so. Then we'll go ahead and build 3 again, just starting diagonally in. And then on this second lot of 3, you want to build 1 down just here, like so. Then we'll build inner block here, with a slab on top. Then we'll double up on all of these back here, like so. So you should have the two there, and then a plus sign, basically, and then your slab and blocks just there. Then we'll put two blocks just there next to slabs, a slab here, and then we need to start cutting into the floor again. So this is where you go down that hill I was on about, back to the ground level. So along here we just go along for nine blocks in total. So we're going to count this as number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fill all of that in, and then fill in the blocks just here. So you should only need to fill in eight blocks just up here, because of course the slab covers one for us, saves a little bit of hassle. Once you get down this side, you use this as number one, and we're going to make seven rivets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I felt like I was doing a dance routine or something then. <laughs> then we'll go from this one, just here, and we're going to build number one up to three blocks in height. Then we'll go for one, two, three, four, just like so. On this side, we want to build up to five rivets. So one, two, three, four, five, which we already have. Perfect. Then we want to go ahead and just kind of add the blocks in the middle. And then we start the two going up just here. These two, we start on these ones just here, and they go up for 20 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty blocks. That should just be a block behind that one. That is cool. Fill it in, and then fill in the other row as well. Like so. And then we need to go ahead and make sure we've got four rivets going up the exterior side. The exterior side, sorry. Not exterior. <laughs> so we've got one, two, three, and four. Whew, sweet. And then this side is going to be two. One, two. Then fill in the gaps in the middle, making sure you've got a width of two again on the diagonals. 
and voila, we have ourselves a Phantom Manor track layout. Look at that. Now if you want to go ahead and actually start building your own, just using the track layout that I built here, please let me know, I'd love to hear. You don't have to follow my tutorials at all, like the whole way through, of course. Of course you don't, you don't have to follow them at all, but if you did want to go ahead and like build from now on, on your own, I would really love to see that. Please definitely um, at me, at Wheel Assassin on Instagram and Twitter to show me your progress with this thing. It's going to look awesome. Okay, guys. Well, that is great. Well then, guys, my ambitions were a little bit too far-fetched for this episode. <laughs> this first part was like, I was really hoping to get the first sort of details done of the, the ride. Uh, however, we are kind of already on quite a long video for this track layout, and it is a very, very complex section, so I don't really want to like bombard you with stuff uh, in one episode. That would just be so unfair. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that until part two, but that is to look forward to, definitely. And we also have like later sections to come as well, where we're going to be building like massive different areas. Of course, like I mentioned, the um, sort of floating head lady over there. We've got the graveyard to come behind me over there. And then, of course, you know, all the different little things that you don't really see when you're on the ride. I believe we've also got in this space below me where there's a kind of straight left track. That is going to be where the um, uh, the ballroom is. So you see all the people like dancing and stuff. That is going to be such a fun section to build. I have no idea how I'm going to do it yet, but um, I will keep you posted. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this Wheel of Sun video. If you did enjoy this one, you know what to do. Please be sure to drop a like. That'd be epic. If you are interested in staying tuned for the next part coming soon, as well as, of course, the entire thing dropping as well, please go ahead and join the Assassin Node today for free by subscribing. And like I said, if you are interested in building this on your own and you'd love to show me, please go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description for those. Um, but uh, yeah, that'd be really, really cool to see. Have an excellent rest of your day, guys. Stay safe. And if I don't see you before Halloween, which is probably going to be unlikely, but um, I wish you a very nice Halloween as well. Make sure, make sure it's a spooky one. And uh, keep the treats, you know, keep the treats going instead of the tricks. <laughs> okay, guys, goodbye for now. Thank you once again.